Taking an aliquot. In this video, you will learn how to rinse a pipette, fill a pipette, and properly dispense a pipette. To start, you must rinse the pipette three times with the solution to be used. To draw liquid into the pipette, squeeze the pipette bulb and place it firmly on top of the pipette. Begin to release pressure on the pipette bulb before placing the pipette in or above the solution to be rinsed with. This is done so that any small amount of liquid in the pipette tip does not fall into and contaminate the solution. Notice in this example how air is drawn into the pipette before being placed into the rinsing water. Using this technique, none of the dye contaminates the rinsing water. Place the pipette below the surface and continue to release pressure on the pipette bulb to draw up approximately 2 to 3 milliliters of solution. Note that you should not fill the whole pipette when rinsing. Filling just above the bottom of the bulge of the pipette is more than sufficient volume to rinse with, any more as a waste of reagent. You should only require the total volume of a pipette for all three rinses. For example, a 10 milliliter pipette should only require 10 milliliters of solution for all three rinses. See the pipetting practice video for an example of this. When you have drawn the desired amount of solution into the pipette, place the bottom of the pipette against the bottom of the beaker. Remove the pipette bulb and place your index finger on the top of the pipette to create a seal. Placing the pipette tip gently against the bottom of the beaker slows the draining of the pipette, giving you more time to place your index finger on the top of the pipette without the pipette draining. This technique is called grounding. Remove the pipette from the beaker and hold it horizontally to help prevent the solution from draining out of the pipette. When rinsing, it is not necessary to use a Kim wipe to wipe the outside of the pipette tip, but it is a good habit to practice. Next, rotate the pipette to coat the inside of the bulge and carefully release your index finger to allow the solution to rinse the top portion of the pipette. Once the inside of the whole pipette has been coated in solution, drain into a waste beaker. Wipe the tip with a Kim wipe again. Repeat this rinsing process two more times for a total of three rinses. After rinsing, fill the pipette above the calibrated mark using the filling technique that was used to rinse the pipette. After filling above the calibration mark, it is very important to wipe the pipette tip with a Kim wipe to remove any drops on the outside of the pipette. Holding the pipette vertical, bring the meniscus to the calibrated mark while draining into a waste beaker. Stabilize the pipette with your hand that holds the waste beaker. To achieve better control while draining, it is helpful to slowly twist the pipette with light pressure on the top of the pipette with your index finger. This allows the liquid to slowly drain without going too fast and falling below the calibrated line. If the meniscus falls below the calibrated line, refill the pipette. Note that you do not need to drain the pipette before refilling. Once the meniscus sits at the top of the calibrated line, place the pipette into an Erlenmeyer flask well below the top of the flask. Hold the pipette vertical with the pipette tip in contact with the inside of the flask. Once it appears that the pipette is emptied, continue holding the pipette vertical with the tip touching the inside of the flask for 5 seconds. This ensures complete draining of the pipette. After counting to 5, keep the pipette tip in contact with the inside of the flask and rotate the pipette 360 degrees. This ensures any drops on the outside of the pipette tip are transferred to the inside of the flask. After rotating, break contact between the pipette tip and flask and then remove the pipette. Note that some solution will remain in the pipette tip. This amount should not be forced out with the pipette bulb, as the pipette is calibrated for this amount of solution to stay in the pipette. It is a good idea to rinse down the inside of the flask with deionized water after delivering an aliquot. An aliquot can also be delivered to a volumetric flask. After draining to the calibrated mark, Place the pipette inside a volumetric flask, taking care not to touch the pipette tip where the stopper will be placed. Touch the pipette tip to the volumetric flask below the bulge point at the top of the flask 
and drain with the same procedure used with an Erlenmeyer flask. It is important not to touch the top of the volumetric flask with the pipette tip because any drops at the top of the flask will be trapped by the stopper when mixing. After you've practiced your pipette skills, you can take aliquots directly from a volumetric flask instead of a beaker. You now know how to properly deliver an aliquot to either an Erlenmeyer or volumetric flask.